iPhones do you think Apple will sell in the holiday quarter? I think the holiday quarter is going to be a record breaker. Uh, it was last year, not by much, uh, but it's going to be a record breaking. Uh, so, you know, upwards of uh, 90 million units is possible. Really? Um, we're looking. Gene Monster said 70 million. Well, you know, we'll see. Um, the, the the delay with the with the 10 might might impact that. Um, uh, the super cycle dream is what this is all about. Uh, we're also looking at uh, the ASP rising. Uh, so, so that's the average selling price. The average selling price is going to rise, and it, again, it has been rising recently, which is again against the grain for for phone makers. Uh, but since uh, since the 10 years now, we've seen uh, pretty steady iPhone pricing around 6.30 overall, over 1.2 billion units, and we might actually see six, breaking 6.50. You know, I know there's a $300 difference between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, but how many people do you think are going to sit there contemplating maybe I should just spring? for the more expensive model and how many people might just not buy anything at all and wait well, so they I, can pay, get that iPhone 10 when they want. Yeah, I think that's a good question. I think tactically, the, you know, this is a very pragmatic issue. Um, I think overall, though, if we step back and ask, look at the way they bracketed this. They've gone from 64 to 256, huge increase in, in, in memory, and yet only $150 more in pricing. I think a lot of people are going to ask themselves, should I stretch? And also, they don't have the ambiguity of what, what do you do with this middle, middle uh, uh, price and, and memory. So I think there's a lot of people are going to go up to the 256 uh, and we're going to see more people stretch and, and that, that's all good for the price. Horace, I want to talk to you a little bit about the watch because there's been a lot of skepticism about just how big a market can be. Uh, Horace, you know, Apple announced today it's the best selling watch in the world. Some estimates put, you know, 41 million Apple watches will be sold over the next year. That's about as many iPhones as they sold in the last quarter. Uh, so. That's a, you know, that's a lot. I'd go I'd go a little lower mm -hmm. than that. I think that they've sold overall 30 million to date in two and a half years now. And that may even be a little bit on the high side. I think it's going to do very well. We're, we're seeing it grow, uh, you know. Do you think it's a sleeper hit? It's a sleeper hit because all these tens of millions of people are using it every day. And actually, we're getting a huge engagement. Apple is moving into healthcare, basically, with this product, uh, and and it's a five plus billion dollar business, which you know essentially overnight.